hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video this is part two of my korean plastic surgery wherein i get transgender feminizing surgeries to really match my inner being with my outer shell thank you guys for coming on this journey with me i hope you enjoy this video as i take you through um, my surgery recovery as well as my adventure time in seoul korea you're on the wrong team. So, fourth day post-op, Braun Medical Group does give you a really good aftercare program. So one of the things they offer is laser deswelling treatment. So I underwent this uh, deswelling treatment around four times post-op, which was super generous of Braun. On top of that, they also do a deswelling kind of thermal cold type um, massage treatment that really also helps with deswelling. So they have a really good aftercare system that really helped with my results and also healing up my face much quicker than I expected. So thank you so much for taking care of me, Braun Medical. It was really fantastic. Kiss my of aftercare after getting your head cast taken off your hair is just in not the best condition so finally getting my hair washed after four or five days was amazing it felt so nice and relaxing on top of that they have their own little salon basins in the little spa upstairs in their building it was super relaxing as you can see I'm passed out um, but they washed my hair they conditioned it they also um, detangled it for me which was such a nice feeling so thank you so much again really good aftercare from Braun Medical Beauty Group guys so here my nurse is just cleaning my wounds cleaning the areas that I got stitches in um, I will eventually get all the stitches taken out two days after this which was such a nice feeling but here we're just doing a little bit of ointment to prevent any infection I also got cartilage taken out of my ear so right now we are just making sure that it is all clean and healing well. We're just taking off the little bandages that were wrapped around it to let the wound and the stitches heal on its own. So here the nurse is just wrapping my head with this velcro head wrap or cast um, after initial surgery you are to wear a foam cast to contain your facial swelling uh, but post-op you wear something much lighter weight uh, less <laughs> intrusive uh, this one's much more comfortable so you're meant to wear this eight hours a day but you're not meant to wear it when you sleep so I only wear this majority when I'm going around the city or when I was just kind of hanging around in my hotel room. Hey guys, I wanted to update everyone. It's day five, uh, three days post-op, is it? Three or four days. Um, my eyes are open now. <laughs> I'm still very swollen, as you can tell. It's still hard for me to talk, but we're getting there. Um, I don't want to feel too, too much because I know I'm still in the process of healing. My swelling is still there, but yeah, just a quick little check-in. Um, I'm eating my soup, I'm drinking my juices, but yeah, I'm feeling better. So, lots of love. Check in with you guys soon. Hey guys, so this is what I've been eating. Some porridge, some pumpkin juice to reduce swelling and some soy milk to also reduce swelling hi um and yeah so i'm just waiting to heal up till i get my stitches taken out 
tears. All right, guys, this is the sixth and seventh day post op. Um, this day was glorious because this was when my nasal bandages and my splints were taken off. I was able to breathe so much better after this. As you know, the splints are there to hold your new, your new nose in uh, its shape and its form. So having them taken out, there's nothing blocking your nose and you can breathe so much better. But also not having bandages on your face, you feel more normal and not as much a mummy. Uh, that being said, walking around in Seoul with plastic surgery bandages is very common. Um, I just felt more at ease not having them on my face. So this was such a nice feeling. And also I felt like more accomplished at this point that I was at this point of healing where I did not need the support of the bandages and the splints and all that jazz. Right, guys so after my nose stitches were taken out my cheekbones where the incision was for my facial contouring the stitches are also being taken out there as well as my ear where they took out some cartilage to add to my nose and its frame So here my very handsome nose doctor, Dr. Lee, is checking up on how I'm healing and the shape of my nose as well as how much swelling I still have and according to him everything is looking really good and really fine and really sharp so I was very happy with my nose results and so was Dr. Lee uh, and all I needed to do was wait for the tip and its swelling to really go down to see the rest of my results. All right guys, so I am now being led into the facial and laser room. So here I am getting my third uh, laser treatment, which was the um, facial kind of massage. And it was like a cooling type of thing with a machine. It felt really nice. Uh, I practically fell asleep. And then after this was the regular heated laser on my face. I'm really grateful and so pleased that Braun Medical Group gave me this aftercare because it really helped take my swelling down and uh, my healing process really sped up because of all these de-swelling treatments. So thank you, thank you so much Braun Medical Group. It made such a huge difference with my healing. Hey guys, so I got finally got my bandages out. I can breathe well, I feel great. My swelling's down, I can see my nose. Um, it's such a good day because my face is free and I got a bunch of treatments and I feel so much better uh, and yeah I'm super excited to see how the rest of the trip goes. Thank you. Hey guys. So um, bandages are off. I'm so swollen as fuck but you know what? I can finally eat today so I'm going to Burger King Korea because it's the closest thing to my hotel and I'm craving carbs so come along with me and let's Check out some cheese balls. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just leaving my hotel room. Uh, ooh, it's a fucking door. It's so nice out here. This is my little hotel. Uh, but let's go and find some food. Help me. So I'm in the city of Ghanem, which is I think a bougier place as everyone has been telling me. And there's a ton of plastic surgery places and a ton of people walking around in masks, so I don't feel alone. Hey guys, it is day eight, seven or eight. Um, I'm on my way to the clinic right now. I put a little makeup on. I have a little bit of serum, sunscreen, lipstick. I did brows and a little bit of mascara. But I'm in Seoul, as you know. 
Um, I think today we're doing consultations again just to see how everything's going. And we are gonna, I think, take out some of my stitches as well. And then after this, after I grab a bite and some coffee, I think I'm gonna try and attempt to go shopping. It's really cold right now. Uh, in Korea, I think it's like minus two, so I'm bundled up. Oh. Hi, Dr. Oh. Hello. Oh. How are you? So this was day 9 in Korea, but day 8 post-surgery, post-op. And Dr. Kim is checking up on my face and my swelling. And here he was really happy with the results of my face. He noticed that I was healing much quicker than most patients, so I was very happy about that. He told me that the swelling will go down uh, over the course of a month to two months, which is when you'll really see less of the swelling, less of the bulging of my face, and more of the tight, sharp, snatched look that we really went for. So I honestly cannot wait for the next month to two months to swing by so that my face will really settle in because right now I still feel like a chipmunk. But everything went well, and as you can see from when I started the surgery to now, I look more normal and more human, so everything went super well. So thank you so much to Braun Medical Group in Seoul, Korea. You guys did fantastic with my surgery, and I highly, highly recommend Dr. Kim, who does so many of these facial contouring. It's his expertise, and it's Braun Medical Group's expertise as well. I will link below all the information, all the details, and how you can book with Braun Medical Korea. Uh, and if you have any questions, please just DM me or leave a comment in the box. Hey guys, so everything's going really well. My face doctor is very happy with my healing. He says it's insane how quick I'm healing. But I have two face treatments right now, two laser treatments to help with the rest of the swelling. Um, but everything's going really good. Good morning guys, so it is day 9, post-op day 8 I think. Um, my jaw is still really swollen as you can see right here because they took out a lot of tissue. It's really swollen. Um, same here. My swelling around the eye has slowly like worked its way down so that's good. It's still really tender on the sides. Um, my nose is still very swollen too. And the tip is, it's not going to be red all the time, it's just so cold out. Um, and my jaw, as you can see, is still swollen. So it kind of goes up and down. I hope in the next few days it'll just all subside. And hopefully by next week I will be seeing all the major results. I mean, it's going to take anywhere from three months to fully, you know, lose all the swelling. And then up to a year for the full shebang. Anyways. See you later, alligator. So on day 11, which was my final um, check-in with the Braun Clinic, my translator and um, English-speaking Braun Medical Group liaison, Jennifer, was kind enough to show me around Seoul, Korea, a lot of the hot spots and popular tourist spots so she took me there she took my photos from my instagram like she was super lovely i really enjoyed seeing all these cool places and i'm just gonna give you a little preview of what i saw and where we went walking around Hanok village you could see a blend of the old serene suburban architecture with the modern more up-to-date kind of restaurants and really trendy stores it was such a beautiful walk with the sun shining on us uh, it was actually fairly warm despite it being winter time and it was so lovely
it was so fun and lovely seeing other tourists dressed up in traditional Korean clothing. There were so many pretty colors and pretty dresses that all these tourists were wearing around Hanok village. A lot of them also wore it to the palace. A lot of them were taking photos and selfies and you'll see that coming up next. Hey guys, I'm just walking through the palace where the king of Korea once lived. It looks pretty bumping in here. This is a view. Alright guys, I was in awe of these four palaces that were tucked away in the middle of Seoul, Korea. I believe in history this is where the king of Korea used to live back, back, back in the day. I really thoroughly enjoyed this place. Um, there are so many tourists, but you know what? It was such a beautiful uh, touristy place. I really highly suggest seeing these palaces. I also loved walking through the streets of Korea. It reminded me of those cool neo noir movies with the flashing lights and the tight streets. Loved it so much. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Blackpink. I love their music and I love their style, so I really listened to their entire album and all their songs while I was in Korea to really feel my oats and feel my snatched face. Very empowering stuff. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm back at the hotel. I just spent a full day touring little spots in Korea, in Seoul, Korea. Um, I'm tired, I'm hungry, but it was so worth it. I saw a lot of things. I have one more day left tomorrow, guys, and then I'm back to Canada. So tomorrow I'm gonna go back to the markets because I'm obsessed with contact lenses, holy shit. So I'm gonna go back and find some deals before I come back to the motherland. In the meantime, I'm really trying to get my strength back with my jaw. So I'm trying to eat as much solids as I can. Nothing too chewy. Um, but I got this awesome bento box from the restaurant next door. They prepare everything here so beautifully. Mm, dinner. Yummy. Hey guys, 
check in before I head back home to maybe grab a meal. I found everything that I needed for my shopping uh, all in here. Uh, I will be doing a Korean K-beauty haul when I get home. Um, but yeah, just wanted to say hello and take a quick selfie. Bye-bye. Alright guys, that sums up part two of my Korean plastic surgery trip. I hope you guys enjoyed these two videos. Keep in mind, I will also be doing an update video one month after post-op just to give you guys an update on my face, how I'm healing. Also, give you all the details of where I went, how I got there, and also what to keep in mind for. Thanks for watching and I hope you follow and subscribe my channel. I'll see you guys soon.